Hi guys, it's your girl Black Cajun with Triple G Creatives. And today, uh, this video is a special request from someone looking to do an all over uh, onesie. Now, the first thing you're going to do uh, when you to do your onesie or your t-shirt, you need to measure it. Get a measuring tape, lay the shirt out flat. Measure it from top to bottom. Measure it from side to side. That way you'll know how big your design should be. I don't know the measurements of this particular person's shirt. So I'm going to do a general tutorial on how I designed it in Canva and then cut it out and print it in Silhouette Studio. So let's get into it. I am going to I'm click here for print products because it's just easier for me to find. You can you can do this. So if you want to find a t-shirt design that's already there, um, that's an option to making your own t-shirts. Uh, it's taking a little time for it to pull up. I'm not sure what's going on. So uh, right here, you'll find different like event t-shirts, advocacy t-shirts, uh, advocacy, uh, fundraising t-shirts. They have different thing t-shirts that you could possibly use. You can use any of these and change them up to your liking, or you can start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. And once again, uh, like I have a cold right now, so my voice is not the very best. Uh, let's see what kind of templates they have. Canva, I mean, honestly, with Canva, you don't really have to do much other than customizing. As you can see, I have a lot of designs in Canva <clears throat> just waiting for me to use. Uh, there's many templates you can use, but I am going to go with, uh, I am going to go, I'm trying to find a blank so I can show you how you can put a background in it. Uh, one thing I do know, it is a little different when when you do it on the computer as opposed to your cell phone and that's why I do majority of my uh, work on my cell phone so I will go with these are my designs I don't want to use my designs uh, but I can always grab any one of these and just create blank so I chose the poster. You can choose anything because you're going to resize it once you get into uh, silhouette. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Oh, this is this one is crazy. Uh, it has a lot of stuff to delete because I want to go with a blank canvas. So I just want to go through and delete all of this stuff in the inside. Okay. So then we'll go to background. They have pre-determined uh, backgrounds that you can use for your shirt. I absolutely love this. But what I would do is kind of make it a little transparent so my words can pop. Uh, then you can go to text. And you can look at different ways that text, uh, pre designed text, or you can do it yourself. I personally like to use some of the pre designed ones because it takes the guesswork away, uh, from trying to do it yourself. I'm going to go ahead with this gold getter and I'm going to change getter to queen. Uh oh, let's see. Turn it to queen, 
and then let's change the goal <clears throat> to birthday and as you can see the birthday is a little too long so I can either bring it down smaller so it can f reduce the font or you can just make this bigger and I'm going to choose to reduce the font and as you can see it's kind of uh, um, let's see if we can <clears throat> change this yeah I prefer that and I would prefer let's see if I can make this uh, no nah, we're going to leave that like that birthday queen if we can make it a little bolder all right so i have birthday queen you can add some elements to it like uh hit elements and you can add some graphics uh let's see it's a lot of different graphics i love adding flowers to different things so you can click on it drag it do whatever you need to do to get it onto your page uh, and then I put one here as well just kind of balance it out I am not trying to make I'm ungroup these okay I'm not trying to make them like super fancy or anything like that I am just trying to get a basic design going and I want to bring the font up just to make it a little bolder and make sure it's centered and you can see the lines going down the middle to let you know that it is centered. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, is take this, hit this arrow going down, and it'll, down, it'll download it as, I don't want it as a PDF, I want it as a PNG file. Then I'm going to hit download. It's going to save this to my computer. It's going to save the design to my computer. So it is downloading at the moment. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I am in uh, Silhouette Studios. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to make the screen capture a little bigger. Okay, so I have the paper set at 13 by 19. Oh, I need to go to 13. Yeah, 13 by 19. Uh, I'm going to add the design that I just downloaded. I'm going to add that to to silhouette and I'm going to resize it. Come on. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so I have it in here, and I have my screen shrunk so that I can work with it. Uh, I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit more. Uh, so this one is 30 by 22. Okay. So what you first thing you're gonna do is grab this uh rectangle thing and when you click it, it's gonna give you four squares. You put it to the corner of your page and make sure it's in trace the shape. And then you're gonna click that arrow. You're gonna come here. And then click this arrow so you can grab, make sure it's the correct size. You want a 
full 13 by 19 nothing more nothing less and hit apply so it's going to turn that rank rectangle into 13 by 19 so you're going to take it and size it up with your design <clears throat> so like i said at the beginning you need to measure your shirt so you can know how wide and how tall you need to make this design then you're going to come back here make it flush up against the sides and the top okay <coughs> you're going to take that red box you're going to go to this little squiggly turtle looking thing and you're going to click here to go to the side then you're going to click it to go down and then you're going to click this one to go to the side to get your four squares okay so here I have to go and shrink this again so it can be within the picture. So you're going to take this, and I like to just put the picture kind of in the middle. Okay. I'll do it like this. Then I'll grab all of it, and I will hit this double cube to duplicate it and you're going to need four of the duplications one for each corner okay so what you're going to do is take this first rectangle and the picture you're going to come here to the modified panel and hit crop okay so you can get rid of the rest of this so you can get rid of this one too because you already got that square then you're going to go and get that top square with the picture and crop it uh -oh. you don't need that so you're going to take the picture with the bottom and crop it uh oh And you're going to come here to this one to get that last square crop. And you can get rid of the rest of these boxes. Okay. And so here's your four pieces to make up your design. All right. What you're going to do is print each one one by one. You're going to print it. Remember, you have to... When you print it, you have to uh, <clears throat> reverse it so that you can it can be printed back. Is it called reverse, Cassandra? When you're printing the sublimation, mirror. You have to mirror it. You're going to mirror it. You're going to print it on high quality. And you're going to print each one of these. And once you have them all printed out, there's, they're going to sit on the paper just like this. You cut around, take your scissors, cut around the edges of it, but leave some white on all of them. Uh, like, say, for instance, you're not going to leave white on this one, but you'll leave a piece of white. Let me see, so, let me show you. Leave a piece of white on this one. okay let me go backwards and this is just how you would print it when you print it and cut it so that way you can take this one and tape it on top you place it on top and then put the tape on the back and then you'll do the same thing and line all these pieces up like this Put it face down on your design and sublimate. If you have any questions, hit my inbox. I'm kind of backed up with some requests. I'm trying to get all my requests done today. But if you have any questions, hit my inbox.